Hello my friends and welcome back. It's episode 60. We have an ongoing fight. It's going very smoothly so far. No real damage on my side. Plenty of losses on their side. I think the main threat remains this mortar carrier. As, uh, I certainly don't want to be on the receiving end of heat mortars. Waiting for the right move. Uh, but we got like a lance of essentially light mechs who are also not moving properly, so they are very vulnerable. What do you need? comes out of that corner. There he is. Yeah, this thing is very annoying. As the damage is undodgeable. Warning. Armor low. I mean she says armor low, but I got leet armor remaining. Woo, what are the odds? <laughs> uh whatever. I'm good. It's actually the Inferno rounds that I was more worried about. Yeah. Alright, full speed. Either way, I'm just gonna pump damage and Tim until he dies. going on with these guys in terms of their maneuvering. Damage minimal. But you know, for light mechs, three evasion is nothing. What do you need? Roger. Roger. Obviously the heat of the environment is uh, causing issues. Look, you can see the special effects for that. But kind of in the sky. There was a patch that broke the special effects and they never fixed it. Wow, he just basically missed. Damage minimal. Missed all the two aye shots. Aye. Orders. Ready, Commander. I'm not going to touch that yet because last time I did a pilot rescue mission, as soon as I touched the spawn point, two tanks appeared. Ready, Commander. And they gave me the bad touch. Oh, you can go down there to get on top of the buildings, but not onto the ground. That's weird. Bravo. Look, you can see the laser hits and sparks and stuff floating in space. Like they've been uh, misaligned. I'm here. All right, let's rumble. Going full throttle. Guess we'll start with the Phoenix Hawk. Firing. Only 600 HPs. These guys have basically got very little HP and what's up, boss? Are thus vulnerable to just being blasted. Taking the shot.
Reporting critical hit. All right. You just got disabled. Oh, there goes his other his other sort of main Enemy weapon. Neck. Critical damage detected. I mean, he lost his main weapon, but then he lost his backup main weapon. Ready, commander. Aye, aye. Receiving you. I'm here. None of these guys are actually sufficiently knocked down that the missile strikes would do proper lasting harm. Okay. Gave me exactly what I wanted. Standing by. Guess I need to wait until the rest of them have had their go. Roger that. Standing by. Reserving action. Aye, aye. I suppose you could just punch him in the face. I was going to roll up behind him, but I could just kick him in the face. Well, he's only got one evasion token. This will do. Here we go. Scored a critical hit. You ain't got no arms, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> showing me your back. I only landed one hit.
I only landed one hit, that's probably not enough for the Raven to capitalize. Yep. Location confirmed. Unfortunately. But we'll try for it. Okay, he's out of LRM 20 ammo. I've got the legs. Wow, the old sled is uh, actually taking a beating in the CT. Let's put Vigilance on, and let's go stand in the minerals. That will make him pretty hard to damage. There's no real point in shooting at the Phoenix. It's got no weapons. It's completely disabled. Ordered. This fire starter has stood Engaging with ponderously target. on that hill. And as I said, these guys have not got a lot of armor, so going through the front is just as reasonable. Ready, Commander. As any other strategy. Bravo. Coming in from behind. Oh, I missed the load again. What is going on? Good to go. Position confirmed. This should be good. I'm here. All right, full speed. That's a whole lot of missing I've done there. Confirmed. Considering that guy did not have much in the way of evasion as well. Waiting for orders. Jump around all you want. Roger that. Right, let's hope I get a bit more lucky this time. I have successfully managed to miss hitting the rear and instead has been dumpstering the legs and arms or just missing entirely. Target lock on enemy's rear. <sighs> oh, one HP. He's got an XL engine. So he's literally one HP from death. Yes, Commander. I copy. Terrible day for rain. Critical hit, Commander. Damaged. Engaging target. Got him. Excel engined. Enemy mech destroyed.
All oh, right, so we've got a guy with one HP. A phoenix with no weapons. And uh, a Firestar Omni. Show me your war face. Who have so far I've left him be. Ready, Commander. Some machine guns would be nice here, but I ain't got any, so. We can only lament what we do not have. How much heat do these things generate? Ten. Coming in from behind. Oh, I think you got him. Leak, watch over him. Another engine bites the dust. Standing by. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Ooh, the core has appeared. Oh, missile volley in there. Orders. A missile volley in there is all I need. To make this guy's day deeply unpleasant. It's going full throttle. Sadly, I've got a very poor chance to actually land it, but. I did get some hits in, but I did not did not trigger the engine destruction. Yes, Commander. Yeah, you're done. Move into position. Hit the leg. I don't think that hit the back either. Nope. Nope. Complete whiff. Not a single shot was against the rear. My armor's melting off. Standing by. The old heavy armor took that. Kaboom. Let's hit them hard. Hostile eliminated. AC2, ammo depleted. It was Let's worth it to put it. the sweat on him. That just makes him easier to destroy. Ready, Commander. What's going on here? Okay, no shot. Good to go. Man, clan LRMs are kind of like a melee weapon. Look, if you actually move to out out of point blank range, you have a 60% chance, but then you get in point blank range, you got a 70% chance. Like, who made LRMs SRMs? Why are LRMs better up close than at f than far away? Confirmed. Does not make any sense. Locking in all weapon systems. And the engine is gone! Gotcha. 
Aye, aye. Right. Holding, Commander. Holding for the right opportunity. Move order received. On my way. Moving, Commander. Receiving you. Let's move. Copy that. On my way. On my way. The last time I did this, enemies appeared. So, I'm here. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful this time. Copy that. Head down. Got something you want done? Locking in coordinates. Moving, Commander. We have the asset, Commander. All right. No weird tanks appearing out anywhere this time. Okay. I think that AC ammo can is only 24 as well, which is at three round, and it's three rounds a uh, a volley. So not the best. I'm actually a little bit short on double heat sinks. I'd almost be tempted to take those. There's like bits of Shadowhawk everywhere, kind of split up. Endosteel. Comes with an Ultra AC5. Let's do it. Let's build it. Is there a whole Wolverine there? There's one piece. There's two. There's three. No is the answer to that question. Okay, I'm actually running low on double heat sinks, so I'm going to take these. If I have to buy them, it's going to be pricey. I must admit, I wouldn't mind getting these medium pulses and large pulses as well, but anyway. Nothing to write home about. 
Nothing to write home about. But that Shadowhawk could be good. And if it's not good, we can just sell it. It's the mortar carrier. You know, once again, the thing about vehicles is the same issue with battle armors. If you can't find somewhere to hide it, then it's target practice. Even if you can find somewhere to hide it, if the enemy's got LRMs they can probably chisel it down. Still. Mortars are kind of interesting. How much is it worth? I don't know, I'm just, I'm imagining a situation like where we faced off against the quads and it's just, we're just trapped out in the open, stuck in a corner and surrounded. It's just going to get someone killed. That's the problem is, it's nothing to do with, you know, the cost of the vehicle, it's to do with the cost of the pilot. The whole, you know save the metal, you know, um, I can't remember the phrase now, it's stuck in my head somewhere, but you know, there's something along the lines of, you know, forget the meat and save the metal, but it's the complete opposite. The pilots are difficult to replace and take ages to train. Uh, equipment is whatever. So even if you make a, you know, and you totally can, I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't, just for entertainment value. You know, you make a, a vehicle pilot and train them up with all the necessary vehicle skills. But one day you're going to go on a mission where you're stuck in a corner somewhere and completely surrounded and that vehicle is just going to be picked off in an instant. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. I pull this turret out. I can. This could potentially be a good missile brawler.
don't even have any Thunderbolt ammo. Bad weapon either. Huh, I got another one of those. Streak. Eight point two tons. something together for ultra long range chipping. Man, the AC5 sucks compared to the UAC5. It's not even close. Let's fix this. I think now is the time. Fifteen back. I 
just having the medium laser is not going to matter. Does, F does Artemis FCS still require... It actually doesn't look like it requires Guardian. Okay, magnification array. That's a sensor, isn't it? Does it stack? I guess we'll find out. I'd have to do the math on it. 5% of... I think this is around 600, isn't it? Yeah, max 600. So 10% would be 60 meters. So it's an extra 30 meters. Five missiles, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen volleys. It's not an unreasonable amount of volleys. I'm going to presume that I cannot mix and match the ammo. Got some half cans. Yeah, there's just there's no point in RT fouring a um. There's no point in RT fouring a uh, like a clan LRM5, right? The friggin' targeting computer would be more heavy than a launcher. That's not even a joke. <clears throat> you can't use this with other, or can you? Huh. Cannot be used with other missile TTS. nice. Do you know what I say? Let's put this back. That will get the attachment. Although, let's uh, put some different ammunition that's not going to run out so fast. I think just a standard container will be fine.
Let's remove this. Otherwise, this will end up attaching to it. I know it. three tons. Maybe just go for a bigger gun. AC5 kind of sucks though. Only one, only one hard point, so... You know, I could just make this another M20. Okay, 40 missiles of Ollie, 120 in each pack. So these are literally three volley packs. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen volleys. It'll be interesting to see if these combine. The RT4 and the FCS computer. I literally have one weapon in each section, so... And it'll also be interesting to see if these arrays combine. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. It's just going to be a much more accurate mech. There's no point in launching... You know, huge volleys of missiles that don't hit. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. It's that simple. Alright, I'll get the team on it right away. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, no problem. I actually have probably 10 to 15 million sea bills worth of stuff that could just be sold or built and sold. Right, let's see if there's any nice contracts. Okay, against mercenaries, we can just do that for salvage. Free reputation for us. Comstar. I did say I wanted to try a fight against Comstar just to see um, what they've got. Oh, I've already annoyed them quite a lot. Oh, Clan Novacat, my, my bestest buds. Four and a half skull escort though. <laughs> That could be fun. We should make the safety play first and do this one, and then maybe do a little bit of inventory clearance. Yeah, I think next time we do this contract quickly. Um, see if there's... Uh, we can capture some mechs worth selling. I 
I think the Omni Firestarter has got an XL engine stuck in it that you can never get rid of. That mech you wanted is back online. And thus not worth the time of day. Yep. Yep. What is even the point? I just don't like them. You look at them funny, they blow up. It's that simple to me. And they're worth good money. The Clan XL engine may have some utility in a missile boat, but only like at the assault level, because the engine will, and only if you put a huge engine in. But what I mean, the problem is, is that. If you're putting a huge engine in, you're doing that because you want speed and potentially evasion, which both of which are defensive attributes. And the XL engine is obviously reducing your defensive capability by making you a tinderbox that explodes if someone so much as looks at you funny. But the clan one does make it so that you can't just die instantly when you lose a side, but it's pretty close. And you'll be completely crippled. I don't know, there, there are potentially interesting builds with a clan XL, but only for indirect LRM launchers. And then you always have to worry that if you end up on a map where you're in a pit somewhere surrounded by the enemy and there's nowhere for your guy to run to, you may find yourself uh, losing that mech very quickly. Right, I'm going to keep no more than two of each kind of core. Gives me some flexibility in the mech lab. But, I mean, if I sacked off all these cores, I would, you know, make a small fortune there too. Probably plenty more to sell, but we'll leave it for now. That is it for now. We shall do these contracts just as soon as my Orion is out of traction. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time.